ठीक है तो लेट स्टार्ट यू कैन सी माई स्क्रीन दिस इज वॉट बी डूंग लिमिटिंग रियक्टेंस नाउ वॉट इज द फिलासफी बिहाइंड दिस डू वी वी हैव यू ऑल हेयर राइट नाउ दस या एब्सोलूटली यप 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 और सो लिमिटिंग रियक्टेंस वॉट आर कैन यू सी माई स्क्रीन क्लियरली सो वॉट आर लिमिटिंग रियक्टेंस नाउ you know in the questions that we were doing so far i have given you guys basically a particular reactant and asked you to find the amount of an unknown so we would so the kind of data i would give you would be you'd get an equation and you'd get one known and you'd have to find the unknown okay now what i'm going to do now is sometimes you're given an equation and you're get given data of two reactants that means you're given two sets of knowns to two known quantities and the reason for that is some in, in the real world that's what happens you take two separate sets of quantities and you like mix them together and let them react but only one of them is more than what's required while the other one gets used up completely so we can say in in chemistry the thing that is left behind even after all of it reacts even if the reaction completes there's some things that are left behind that part is called excess and the one that finishes up is called limiting so let me say this again so you are given two known quantities and you have to find an unknown now in the two known quantities you will be given one that is limiting and one that is excess excess means more than needed okay limiting is what the reason why we call it limiting is because it limits the amount of product we make that's what controls the reaction let me show you some two examples okay now we'll talk about the quantities and but this uh, you getting through to this can everybody see my screen hear me properly is that all that's happening for you right yeah mhm mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. So let's continue with this. So what do I mean? Now let me take an example. Remember, I had told you that one of the equations we saw was um, this equation. that one mole of nitrogen reacts with three moles of hydrogen to form two moles of ammonia we've seen this right now what if i tell you that i have a uh, let's say if i mix if, okay so if i tell you that if two moles of nitrogen are mixed with 6 moles of hydrogen how now how much of ammonia is made now obviously i am only talking about moles so the only thing that matters to me is the ratio meaning step number 2 because step number 1 is converting a quantity into moles and step number 3 is converting the moles into quantity like mass and volume i don't want that in this particular question i made it very very clear what do i need from you yeah mm, can you read the question yeah let me move it here makes it a little easier yeah mhm mm now if i ask you this can you figure this one out i'm asking you all lot by the way so if nitrogen one nitrogen needs three hydrogen to make two ammonia when i mix two moles of nitrogen with six moles of hydrogen 
how much ammonia will it be made? Can you guys tell me this? Yep. Yep. Because basically what we have is if um, four, twice as much, because now two moles of nitrogen, because the ratio of nitrogen to hydrogen is one is to three, so two moles will react with six moles to make four moles, right? And what you realize is that the two moles are used up and six moles are used up, which means you will make four moles of ammonia and nothing is left over. You see, all of the nitrogen is used up and all of the hydrogen is used up. You see that? That I had two moles of nitrogen, both used up. I have four moles of hydrogen, sorry, six moles of hydrogen, all used up. Do you see that? Yeah. Now. So, now, what if I had said something else? Like if I had said, if two moles of nitrogen and Uh, 10 moles of hydrogen are mixed. Now what would happen? How much ammonia would be made? Now, if I have this information, I know that, you see, I have that. And I'm telling you that mm -hmm, I have what you want call it. Uh, mm, sorry. Mm, yeah. Mm, so my equation is same nine two and three H two becoming two moles of ammonia. What you need to realize is that two moles of nitrogen will still need six moles of hydrogen and make four moles of ammonia. And I had two moles of nitrogen and all two moles were used up. But when it came to hydrogen, I had 10 moles of hydrogen, but I only used up six. So here, now Zanun, the nitrogen is limiting, but the answer is uh, different for everybody. Some said 12, some said uh, four, some said eight and six and two, and it's still four. And why is it four? Because you see, look, that's why I use the exact same number. Did we not tell that two moles needed six moles? But I'm saying I'm giving you two moles and 10 moles, but I still only need six moles, don't I? So I only need six moles, okay? If I only need six moles, then what we now realize is that H hydrogen is left over. Hydrogen left over. How much of hydrogen is left over? Well, I had 10 moles. I used up six. I have four left over. Delaver, did you not understand the first part also, the one above this line, or you got that one? So, well, let's say, so I said the exact same thing, no? You see, two moles are mixed with six moles. But you did the math here. Look at the ratio. One mole reacts with three moles. So two moles will react with six moles. Regardless of how much hydrogen I have, two moles of nitrogen will only react with how many moles of hydrogen? Two moles. If one reacts with three, two will always only react with six. Bhalem, I've given you 10, 20, 30, 40. They can only react with how many? That's what our equation is. Equation is the amount it reacts with. So if one reacts with three, two reacts with six, two reacts with six. Even though I have given you 10, which is more than six, 
So if you ever get something that it is more than something, even the amount that is there will react and the left is left over. Let's say you only can eat one Big Mac, but I'm going to give you two, but you can only eat one. So you're not going to eat two because you can only eat one. You might have one left over, but that's the thing here. So hydrogen here was more than needed. So here hydrogen was more than needed. You follow that? Yeah? So in the reality for chemistry, we have that quite a lot. We have that quite a bit. This whole idea of limiting. For example, uh, in this case, hydrogen was in excess. Absolutely. Yup, yup, yup. Mm. So I say yeah, this is the equation. I know that one mole of magnesium reacts with two moles of HCl. Right? So I'm telling you that if five moles of magnesium are added to, let's say, 13 moles of HCl. How much of hydrogen gas will it make? Now look at this question. You are given two knowns, one known and another one. And your job is to figure out which of them is left over which of them is more than what you need. So you need to figure out excess and then you need to figure out limiting. The limiting means the one whose amount is used to find out the product, basically. So here, if one reacts with two, absolutely awesome guys. It seems like you, got, you guys are getting this in this case. So if one reacts with two, Five moles will react with 10 moles to make five moles because that's what the ratio is. One mole reacts with two mole to make one and one. So five will react with 10 to make five and five. This is stoichiometry, the ratio. One is to two is to one is to one ratio. You can apply the ratio for all four, by the way. Literally, you can do that. One is to two. So one is to two is to one is to one. Absolutely, Zanoon. Absolutely. Yeah, guys, absolutely. Now, uh, 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 where did that go? Mm. Mm. Okay, one second. Yeah. All right, so, yeah, so how much of HCl is left over? Look, I started with 13 moles, but I used up 10 moles. So three moles left over. That's the excess amount. And therefore, Mg is limiting. That's exactly what we have to do. Did you guys get this? Does everybody get this? I got sorted with this. Yeah. Instead of 13, why did you use 10? Because I needed 10 only. I have 13. But if one needs two, five will need what? Use the term ratio.
Sad, excess and limiting cannot be applied to products. It can only be applied to reactants. <coughs> Excuse me. Whoa, sorry. That was a sneeze and a half. Yeah? You follow? Okay, how about this? Okay, fine. Let's look at the other way around. You don't know how MG is limiting? Well, the simple process is this. Okay. Maybe, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. So, maybe, yeah. Yeah. Now do you see it? Okay. So, what if I give you a simple enough thing? Forget 1 is to 2 ratio. I think some of you are really struggling with just even doing ratio. What if I tell you this? Do you see everything is 1 is to 1 ratio? Now, one is, something is 1 is to 1 ratio. In chemistry, we say 1 mole of Mg reacts with 1 mole of H2SO4 to make 1 mole of MgSO4 and one mole of hydrogen. You following that? Yeah? Now, if I say that, okay, if, if uh, let's do it simple. If six moles of Mg are mixed with four moles of H2SO4, which is excess, which is limiting, and how much of H2, all three. For those of you not getting this earlier, can you answer this one for me right now, please? Yeah, come on, 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 come on. Who was not getting this? Arib? Arib? Noman? Arib? Now the ratio is 1 is to 1. So what that means is, if you have 6 moles of magnesium, let's say you say, no, I'll start with 6. Shuru so if I start with 6 moles of magnesium, how many moles of sulfuric acid do I need? I need six moles of sulfuric acid. But what's my problem? I don't have six moles. How many moles do I have? I have four moles of H2SO4, which means that ye galat hai. Which means that my limiting is H2SO4 or four moles of kithe. So four Mg kithe, therefore four moles of H2. That's exactly what I did in the other question. Let me show that to you. And take another example. Last, I hope this will come through. Let's say calcium plus HNO3 reacts to make calcium nitrate, uh, calcium nitrate twice, and H2. Now this ratio is 1 is to 2. That means 1 mole of calcium will react with 2 moles of Nitric acid to make one mole and one mole, right? So if I tell you that if I mix um, three moles of calcium and four moles of H2SO4, what's excess? What's limiting? And how much of hydrogen? That's how I take the equation. Deco, you got to start with one thing, three moles or four moles. So I say, yeah, I'll start with three moles. They look less, right? So I say, okay, well, if one mole reacts with two moles, then three moles will react with how much? So three moles of calcium will need how many moles of nitric acid? Where does 12 come from, Manaf? Where did 12 come from, Manaf? 
What things you multiply to get 12? Yeah, I know. Naman seems to be busy with multiple other things in my class, but the math for him eludes him. So three moles, so six moles. Mm -hmm. There you go. Better? Mm -hmm. Excess ramis means one that is more than what you need. What is left over is excess. So here, three moles of calcium needs how many moles of nitric acid? Six. But I have three moles of calcium, but I have less nitric acid than I need. I needed six to react with three, but I only have four. Do you understand that? So if I have six, I need six, but I have four, then I can't have this reaction because I don't have enough nitric sulfuric acid. Therefore, sulfuric acid is less. Therefore, that is limiting. It's limiting me. And which that means then I take the moles of the limiting. So I said, okay, you know what? Fine. Let's take four moles of nitric acid because that's what I have. How many calcium will react with four moles of nitric acid? Can someone tell me? Yes, two. Yeah. Hmm. Then, two. So two react with four to make two and two. So you can say that I had three moles of calcium, but I only needed to use two. So calcium was more than what I need. Therefore, it's called excess. Something that is more than what I need is excess. And the other guys is limiting. Are we all following this now? Yeah? Okay. But I wish they could just give us moles. They don't just give us moles. They give us a lot more than moles. I know, Noman. It's okay. Then, <sighs> then, all right. Zunun, why is Noman still processing? I, I guess his, the math for him may be a little more than what he needs. All right. Oh, then you're going to love the next one. Which is the idea that they don't give you moles, they give you amounts. For example, they'll give you this. This is fun now. Let's say they tell you that, you know, uh, <laughs> Let's look at this. So let me give you a nice question about this, what they really will give you. So let's say I have Mg, and I'll use a different color, this is too light. So I have Mg and oxygen becoming MgO. When I look at this relationship to Mg and it becomes this and this, okay? So now I have this, absolutely drava, this is my favorite chapter too, absolutely love this one. So two Mg plus O2 becoming two MgO. So what if I tell you that instead of giving you moles, I say this, I have, uh, okay, uh, 4.8 grams of magnesium is mixed with uh, 24 dm cube, not 24, let's make it even more fun. Let's make it 12 dm cube of oxygen at RTP, okay? How much MgO does it make? 
in grams. Yeah. So now let's look at this. So one is given volume, one is given grams. Uh, yeah. So now what you realize is that they've given you two knowns. 4.8 grams of magnesium and 12, 12 dm cube of oxygen. All right. So what your job becomes is how do you find the excess and limiting. So the way to do this is you have to find step. Remember the steps. You got to do step one. You got to do step two and you got to do step three. But steps one and two become a little longer. Step one becomes using two knowns. So known one and known two. Let's say known one is magnesium. You find the moles for magnesium first. Mass over molar mass. What is RT? RTP. Room, temperature and pressure. Which is 25 degrees centigrade and one atmosphere. This is what we did. We used to find out the volume of all gases at one RTP is 24 dm cube. Did you attend the last class for volume of gas? Oh, not really. No, not. I don't think it's a. You mean say no? You mean right? Not really. Would be you doubting that did you attend the class or no? Okay, you should go to the video lesson on UN Academy to see that lesson because that's what I did, the volumes. Yeah. Okay, so basically this. So I've got this, I've got this. Okay. Then, so for, for magnesium, what do we do? We find 2.4 over 24 which is 0 0.1 moles of magnesium. Now you got to find the other K moles also. There was the other guy. So 0 0.5 grams, who said 0 0.5 grams? Okay, then what you do is known to. What is your known to? Is oxygen. Yeah, he's just guessing. So now, for volume of gas, you use this formula that we did on Friday. All right? Because 2.4, I, oh, I am so sorry, guys. My bad. It's not 2.4. It's 4.8. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 4.8 over oh, this is 0.2 moles. So yeah, my bad. Well, okay, maybe something wrong with your calculation. First of all, the answer will have to be more than 4.8. You'd have to realize that. Because you started off with 4.8. I think so, but well, no, actually it doesn't have to be more than 4.8. But yeah, let's find out. It's not 0.5 though. Okay, so then for oxygen, it's volume over 24 dm cube. So you have 12 over 24, which is 0 0.5 moles of oxygen. So now I've gotten the moles of both of my reactory, my knowns. But you need to understand that I need to know which of them is excess. You see? So before I go to step number two, I need to figure out which of them are in excess. So now this is where it becomes trippy. So step one is still happening. So I'm going to take steps two and three and move them to the bottom. Okay? Because I'm still doing step number one. This is still part of step number one. So the magnesium to oxygen ratio from the equation is 2 is to 1 moles. Now, your job is to take one of these two and to see if they're excess. So now, if I know that oxygen, magnesium to oxygen is 2 is to 1, therefore, if but I have this many moles of magnesium. So 0 0.2 moles of magnesium will react with how much oxygen? Absolutely, you guys are, Zanun, you're right. So now do this math, I get 0.1 moles of oxygen. What that means is 0.2 moles of magnesium need 0.1 mole of oxygen. Do you see that? But how much oxygen do I have? 
I had 0.5 mole, so I have more than what I need, which means O2 is in excess. I have extra, exactly, which means therefore magnesium is limiting. If magnesium is limiting, that's the fellow you are going to use to solve the question. So for step two, you're going to use magnesium. You never use the guy that's in excess. You will use the guy that is limiting. That's the key. So for step number two, basically it's like, it's like assuming that they didn't even give you this information. Assume they didn't even give you this information. It's not needed. Because you have everything else. It's like you figure out that oxygen is in excess, so whatever you've given you is not needed. Magnesium is the limiting. So the question would have been 4.8 grams of magnesium is mixed with excess oxygen. How much magnesium oxide does it make? So that's all I care about. So that's the step one I care about. And this is all part of step one. Now I go to step number two. Because what is step number two? The known to unknown. And now the known for me is magnesium. And the unknown is magnesium oxide. And their coefficients in the equation was 2 is to 2. So 0.2 moles will need will give how much magnesium oxide? So the number of moles of magnesium oxide are also 0.2 moles. And then step 3 is for magnesium oxide. So first I find the formula mass of magnesium oxide. Which is 24 plus 16. Which is 40. Now, the number of moles is mass over molar mass. Because now I've got to convert what? I've got to convert 0.2 moles of the, un, the unknown into mass. So 0.2 over mass over 40. That gives me how much? 8 grams. You follow? 80, eh? Huh? 80. Yeah, yes. Thank you, Iman. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys a question. Yeah. This one. All right. Solve this one. I'm going to wait for two minutes. I want you guys to solve this one. I can solve this one. I'm going to get you guys to solve this one and then I'll do this question. All right. What you will need is the ARs of carbon, which is 12, silicon, which is 28, and oxygen, which is 16, to use this question. All right. Try this one now.
<laughs> yeah, guys. Anybody, anybody have an answer for me? Or is it too early for to ask? Thank you, Zaheer, for your kind words. <laughs> yep. I do have uh, many, many, many videos on energy and thermochemistry. For those of you asking me on YouTube. Yeah, for AS, O-levels, uh, AS and E2, not O-levels yet. O-levels thermochemistry is coming up. Hmm. Which reagent is in excess? Hmm. You got two different answers. <laughs> Are you sure, Zanun? No, 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 no. Carbon is in excess. Carbon is in excess. <laughs> Carbon, 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 carbon is in excess. Carbon is in excess. Yes, Mars. Yes, Zeus. Haya. Oops. Arisha. Absolutely. You got that right, Aspa. Mm -hmm. We are all waiting for Naman to solve this one, huh, Naman? What do you say? What do you say? What do you say, son? What do you say? All right, he's like, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Next up, next up, next up. I know. I know. Don't ouch me. Solve. What's the point of chemistry if you can't solve the questions, eh? Don't ouch me, son. I've been ouched all my life. Please. You're welcome, Aliza. You are welcome. Yep. 6.67, Arisha. Are you sure? Could be. I'm not sure. I haven't solved the question yet. <laughs> but I, I don't think that's that little. I think it's more than that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so this is a problem with people, it seems. Like, for example, step number one, I'll do step number one at least, which is, which is what? Which is the whole idea of, what you might call it? So... You find the moles of carbon first. So let's do carbon as known number one. That is 48 over what is AR is 12. So you got four moles of carbon. And silicon oxide, you have the formula mass is 28 plus 32 is 32 is 60. So number of moles of silicon oxide are 48 over 60. Does somebody help me with that math? Oh, I know I have a calculator. Everybody has a different answer. Oh my God. Let's see. So you got 0.8 moles, right? So the way I see it, it's always easier to start off with a smaller number. You see, I need to either know if three reacts with one, four will react with more than one but I have less than one, so it seems like this is limiting. Or if one reacts with 3.8 will react with less than three, but I have more than four. So I don't even need to do the math, but I can do it if I want to, because the two, re the two uh, knowns are three is to one ratio, but I only have 0.8 moles of silicon oxide. You can start off with any of them, but since I predict that this is a uh, limiting one, I'll take that as a limiting and see if it works out. So what, three reacts with 1.8 will react with 
Yeah? So, no, carbon is not limiting. I only need, I only need 2.4 moles of carbon. But how many moles of carbon do I have? I have 4 moles of carbon. I swear to God, man. No, man, really? Like, I, I'd like to know what you've been drinking or have eating. Mm -hmm. Just wondering. Carbon, everybody, everybody got carbon as excess except for no man. This is limiting. Yeah, that's why I asked, okay, what is he drinking or eating maybe? I don't know. Or maybe no sleep. Maybe he had too much aspirin. You know. So, now I have limiting. Now I can go to solving my question regularly, which was step number two is the ratio between silicon oxide and silicon carbide because one is my known and one is my unknown. And the ratio is one is to one. So, 0.8 moles will give me how many? So, number of moles of silicon carbide are also 0.8 moles. So, once I have that, Step number three becomes easy because step number three is the mass of silicon carbide. So what's his MR first? 28 plus 12, which is 40 grams. Only one person, two people got the answer right, by the way. Only two, I only saw two right answers. Now I see the third one because now I've obviously done everything else for you. Mass over molar mass. So number of moles is 0.8. Mass, you do not know. Molar mass is 40. So mass comes out to 40 into 0.8, which is 32 grams. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. All right, Saad, then those of you who are doing this, you should just watch the recording, you know, because now that you've taken this class half sleepy, you might not take the recording. But if you are tired, always just take the recording. Don't take the live class. You know, it just hurts. So now let's see if you guys can try this one. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Asba, it isn't 2 is to 1. Where is it 2 is to 1? I know. But you should be in a position to ask the right questions also, right? It shouldn't be that you're asking, you know, uh, questions which are uh, kind of, uh, you know, a little all over the place. Anyways, be efficient also. I wish everybody had that. So Asba was asking me about ratio. Do you see Asba is not 1 is to 1? And Mesam took it for 42. Ha, oh, Mesam. Oh my God. Okay, now I'm giving you another question now. Try this one out. Do you see this one? Yeah. Work this one out. Oh yeah, ARs. I am so sorry. Yes. I believe zinc is 65 and chlorine is 35.5. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
Done? Yep, see you guys in excess. And just do the mass of zinc chloride. Okay, but do the last part, the mass of zinc chloride, that's what I want to know. So the number Mm -hmm. for zinc is 2.55 over 65 mm -hmm. yeah 2.55 over 65 is 0 0.0392 moles and the other fellow, chlorine, is uh, how much? 5.92 over 71. Zero eight three four, approximately. So since the ratio is 1 is to 1, this is excess, clearly, because the ratio is 1 is to 1. So that is limiting yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then using that I find step number two I find step number two zinc and zinc chloride one is two one so number of moles of zinc chloride are also 0 0.0392 awesome see how easy life is with the three-step method it's always gonna be useful to do the three-step method i said the three-step method for that you want the formula mass of formula mass of zinc nitrate chloride which is 65 plus 71 65 plus 71 136 so number of moles is mass over molar mass number of moles is 0 0.392 and molar mass is 136 10 to 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. about 5.3 grams of zinc chloride Da, da, da. Do you see? Do you see? Do you see how I did this? Yeah. Da, 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 da. I don't know what I'm singing for, like a nursery rhyme. I have no idea, but I'm a singing in. Step number two is a ratio of known to unknown. I don't see any difference from this step number two than the other 18 step number twos I've done. It's the same as people have been doing. Like, dude, like, I don't understand what you mean. No man, I think you need to watch all the videos again. If you don't know what how to do step number two. It's one is two, one. It's the same thing. Since now you know that's limiting, use the limiting to find the other guy. The whole class is about this. I, I, I don't know, I'm just gonna skip this. <sighs> Maya, I don't understand your question on YouTube. I don't understand that question on YouTube. <laughs> 
Anyways, guys, I'm going to head out now. I'll see you guys on uh, tomorrow is Mr. Abul and Friday, Thursday is me. And by Thursday, we'll have finished. Well, Thursday or Saturday, we'll finish and do past paper questions for this chapter. Okay. Mariam, why didn't you use CL? Is it because CL was in excess? Adisha, Friday and Monday, or Wednesday and Friday is Abul. And Monday, because uh, he's got his own fans. And Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday is me. So we tag team and teach this class together. All right. He's another, he teaches with me, he's another teacher. Yeah. So, we should always, yes, that's why we call it limiting. We should always only use limiting. Sure, man. Okay. Okay. We should always use limiting. All right. So, all right. So, I'm going to end this class right now. Okay. And I'll see you guys next class. Bye. For the half is guys. It's a joy teaching you. Thank you for showing up every day. Please show up regularly so we can have lots of fun regularly. All right? Please, 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 please. Okay? Uh, the answer should be always to three significant figures. Okay? Hassan Ahmed, AS level question mark is not a question. This is O levels. But you can apply this to A levels also. All right? This is the point. Sir, keep saying bye and the class is an end. It's hard to let you guys go. It's so hard to let you go.